Now, we have also done the basic laws of exponents. We'll just go for again a quick recap. Before we proceed, the lesson is basically about the A and M. Now, till now we have taken A as negative and positive. M is also negative or positive. They are all integers. We have not any, taken any other number other than integers. If they are both fractions, that is rational numbers, P by Q form. Then what do we do? So that's what we are going to learn. But before that, let us just you know go through the basic rules because these are the rules that are going to be followed even when the powers as well as base is going to be a rational number. Okay, so this is a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n. If the bases are same but the powers are different and they are multiplied, all you have to do is add the power. So this is nothing but say phi square into phi q. This is nothing but phi to the power 2 plus 3 phi to the power 5. Of course, if you are supposed to find, evaluate, you really have to get the answer. If the question just says simplify, you can just leave the, leave the answer here. Because there is no point in doing phi, you know, multiplying 5 times. It is going to be a work. No need to do all that. The next one, this is first law. The second law is a to the power m divided by a to the power n. Because here it was multiplication. So next will be obviously a division a to the power m minus n. So, phi q by phi square is nothing but phi to the power 3 minus 2, 3 minus 2, phi to the power 1. Any number raised to the power 1 is the same number. This is another thing we must remember. Whatever may be the base, as long as the power is plus 1, the number is the same thing. Okay, the answer is the same. So, this is another uh, law. The third one being, we just now learned another thing, a to the power minus m is nothing but 1 by a to the power m. Okay, so we can write this as, say phi to the power minus 2 is nothing but 1 by phi square. As long as the power is a negative integer, all you have to do is find the reciprocal of that given problem. So, 5 to the power minus 2 is nothing but 1 by 5 square. In this case, please remember, as long as the base is positive, here also the base remains the positive. Just because doing the reciprocal, please do not change the base. Base continues to remain the negative or positive as the question may be. Okay. So, this is the same or other if you have another number like this, minus 5 to the power minus 2, this is nothing but 1 by, now base remains the same. So, we cannot change the base. It is only the power that becomes from the negative to the positive by doing the reciprocal. So, base continues to remain the same. Once you know this, now you know how to proceed after this, isn't it? So, this is the third one. There are two more simple ones. Any number, fourth one, raised to the power 0, whatever may be the base, as long as the power is 0, the answer is going to be 1. So, it can be 100 to the power 0 or 2 to the power 0 or minus 5 to the power 0, any base you can think of. Later on you will come to the bases which are also themselves fractions. Even if it is a fraction, of course we will come to that say 1 by 2 to the power 0, then also everything is equal to 1 only. As long as the power is 0, the answer is 1. So, this is one more uh, rule. The fifth one being a to the power m whole to the power n a to the power m, the whole to the power n, please understand the way I am saying a to the power m to the power whole to the power n is nothing but a to the power m into n. So, if I have phi square whole to the power 3, this is nothing but phi into phi to the power 2 into 3, phi to, to the power 6. So, this is how it is read a to the power m. This is totally different from, we will come to that again, a to the power m to the power n. Can you see the difference between the two? This is not the same as this. This is different from this. This is nothing but a to the power m to the power n. So, let us just take this example and see how it changes the meaning. But for the time being, please remember this is the fifth law. a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m to the m into n. Let us just see a small example and see how the answer changes a lot by really seeing the difference between the two. 
okay so we'll take a small number that way easy for us to you know calculate it so 2 is the best number isn't it 2 to the power 2 2 square whole to the power 3 a to the power m to the power n is nothing but 2 to the power 2 into 3 2 3s are 6 okay so 2 to the power 6 of course we can calculate now let us go for this number 2 to the power 2 to the power 3 now there are no brackets here this is read as 2 to the power 2 whole to the power 3 whole to the power 3 now this is totally different this is nothing but 2 to the power 2 to the power 3 that is you first have to calculate this what is 2 to the power 3 2 to the power 3 is nothing but 2 into 2 into 2 so 2 to sir 4 to sir 8 this is nothing but 2 to the power 8 can you see that this is totally different from this the answers are different isn't it that is 2 multiplied 6 times that is 2 multiplied 8 times obviously it is more okay so that's a mild difference between you may look uh, sort of mild as far as the small numbers are concerned when we go for the bigger numbers the difference is really huge okay so please understand when you orally when we say a to the power to the power n is a to the power m into n or oh, that's not the correct way of saying we say a to the power m whole to the power n then it becomes a to the power m into n this is not said that way this is a to the power m to the power n now there is no whole word is used so a to the power m to the power n is nothing but a to the power m into the power n so you just have to first find the value of this just as i did here 2 to the power 3 i found which is turned out to be 2 into 2 into 2 that is 8 so instead of that then i put 8 this is the answer for this whereas for this this is the answer so that difference is there well, these are the simple first uh, five laws of exponents which we have used already. As far as the bases were simple integers and the powers were also simple integers, both positive or negative. Okay. Now, we will go to the next step where we will realize that the same laws hold good even when the bases are not just integers. Of course, integers are themselves rational number. If I say the number is 2, it means 2 by 1, isn't it? And this is a rational number. So, when the bases are rational number, the powers are also rational number. Let us see how these laws we can apply and solve the uh, various uh, you know, problems and get the answer. It's something like, you know, I have 3 by 2 to the power 4 by 3. Now, how do we get the value for this? So, these sort of things are, uh, here. this is also, base is also a rational number. This is also a rational number. How to get the value of this? Using the same laws of exponents. So, this is what we will do next.